Welcome back, my amazing learners. This story is entitled The Email Pals. Now let's look at the cover and see if we can pick up and we can predict what this story is about. So we see a little girl here looking on the computer screen. Is she typing? Is she just looking? What is she going to do in this story? Let's look at the title again, the email pals. We know that pals, it's just another word for friends. But what does email mean? The E in email, what does that mean? And for those who are older, do you remember that there's another term called pen pals? I had a pen pal when I was that age. As a matter of fact, I had about two different pen pals. I even got some grade six students of mine to get pen pals from Japan. And it was a lot of fun. They loved writing. They loved receiving letters, sending out letters, sending little gifts and cards and decorated pages to each other. It was a lot of fun. But we're not going to talk more about that now. We're going to go right into the story. It was the first day of school. Gina was happy. Her best friend Tyra was in her class. Gina's mom drove. The girls rode to school together. Here we have Tyra in blue and white stripes. And we have Gina in the middle. Gina turned on her computer that night. Gina wrote Tyra an email. Hi T, today was a great day. Did you have fun? G. Later, Tyra answered. Hi G, we have the best class. I wonder who will be in the play. I have to go. T. The next day, Mr. Lewis announced the parts for the play. The play was Jack and the Beanstalk. Gina would play Jack. Tara would play the giant's wife. The girls were happy. Gina checked her email that night. Hi, G. We got the best parts in the play. Are you happy? T. Gina answered, yes, we're going to have fun. G. Have you noticed how short their emails are? Just a sentence or two. They began with a greeting. Then they had their message or the body of the email. And then they closed with just their initial. So. T for Tara, G for Gina, short and sweet. The next morning, Gina noticed red bumps on her stomach. The bumps itched. Her mother said, you have chicken pox. Gina started to cry. She said, I will miss school. I will miss Tyra. Gina's mother said, you will get better, but you need to rest now. Gina's mom made her breakfast, but Gina was not hungry. That night, Gina's face started to itch. Gina looked in the mirror. She saw red bumps on her face. Gina wanted to cry. Then she saw a new email. Hi, G. We miss you. Feel better soon. Love, Tyra. Here we have her friend, her best friend, reaching out to her with an email telling her something sweet. Can you think about a time when your friend wasn't feeling well and you sent a message or when you were sick and a friend sent a sweet message to you? The red bumps moved to Gina's chest 
and arms. Her mom said, you will be better soon. Gina waited for another email from Tara. Later, Gina saw 25 emails. Hmm, I wonder who wrote those emails. The emails were from the class. Gina answered them. Then she wrote to Tara. Dear Tara, you are the best friend I could ever have. Love, Gina. Gina was well by Monday. She went to school. Gina's class was starting to work on the play. The play was great. The end. Did you enjoy this story? I really hope you did. Now, if you look back to the beginning of the video, you'll notice a red box right here at the top. It says realistic fiction. That's just letting you know that this story has a lot in it that seems real, like everyday life, something that could happen, but it is still a fiction story, something that someone made up. Now this story is now finished. It was short and sweet, but you are going to complete three things, a character map or a character web, some teachers call it that. The second thing is that you're going to try to retell the story using the five W's. Who, what, when, where, why? Who was in the story? What happened? Why did it happen? When and where did the story take place? Retell your story using the five W's. And the last thing you're going to do is answer the questions that I'm going to add to the end of this video. And that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. You enjoyed this fun little story. Give it a thumbs up, comment below, and please subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.